playing well in that next tier of golfers here. Jason, that includes Jordan Spieth, plus 2,200. Wells Torres is there. Even Max Homa, plus 4,000. So who's the guy uh, that you like in that mid-tier range? Yeah, I like Zalatoris. I like Hideki Matsuyama, who tends to play well here on a yearly basis. One here back in 2014. My favorite play, and maybe this is just some uh, some some uh, uh, premeditated sort of risk uh, averse tactics that I'm taking here. But Shane Lowry is one of my favorite plays, if not my favorite play on the board for the U.S. Open in two weeks. I've had this happen too many times over the years, Emerson, where I get burnt right before a major championship. I'm like. I love this guy. I love this guy. Then he goes and wins, does something stupid like that beforehand. The number gets way too short. Everyone gets on him. He's too chalky, and you can't even play him at the major where you wanted him. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna try to be a little smarter this time, and just in case Shane Lowry jumps the gun, peaks two weeks too early. I really like him, sort of in that next tier as well. Okay, Jeff, who's your guy in this range? I mean, yeah, there, there is, this is a tough range to figure just because there's so many people you could make cases for. I mean, Cam Smith coming off the, the PGA where he gained like 11 strokes on approach. Um, you could go further down as well, you know, in, into the 3,000 K, the 3,000 range with Will Zaltors. I, 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 I like Will, Victor Hovland this week. I do. I wish the number was like a little bit bigger. I wish he was like plus 2,500. But even at plus 2,000, this is just a, he's, his players already won three times on tour. And he needs he needs a win like this. Like he still doesn't really have that signature win. He's one thing he's won in Mexico and he's won in Puerto Rico a couple times. And it's nothing against where he's won. It's just the like the style of events he's won. There's really been no elite field win yet for Victor Hovland, but it definitely could come this week. The the numbers last week don't jump off the page, but he's really doing nothing poorly right now. And I definitely lean on the side of I think Victor Hovland is closer to kind of like spiking for a big week. Then he is kind of regressing. So Victor Hovland is a player we've seen play really well at Muirfield Village before too. Yeah. You remember back in 2020, that year where they played the, the course twice in a row. He was third the year when, when uh, Thomas and Morikawa got in the playoffs. So he was right there that season. Uh, he's played a, the, the event a few times now. I think Victor Hovland is the style of young player we've seen break through here too. Cantley did it. Bryson did it, obviously. Uh, Morikawa did it at the workday. Victor Hovland would fit nicely in with that group. And I think a plus 2,000, he's probably my favorite betting target once you get above 2,000. So like him, also give a shout out to Sung JM. I think he's a good top 10 play. I'm going to bet him outright too, a plus 3,500. I think that's fine. But a plus 300, Sung Jae played really well last week. The around the green game is working for him.